Hello friends, you are watching This is Awesome Videos and today we are going to cover a new topic for mathematics that is sequence and series. Okay, so this is the chapter that can be asked regularly or uh, maybe in uh, every exam one or two questions are asked from this chapter okay so these are the very simple chapters but we just have to know the number of formulas so today i am going to cover all the formulas which are important for this topic okay so there are mainly three series ap gp and hp so starts with ap arithmetic progression and uh, you we all know that the arithmetic progression is given by a a plus d a plus 2 d a plus 3 and uh, a is the first term and d is the common difference okay then uh, for a b c i and a p then 2 b is a plus c how it comes the difference between any two number gives this result if a b c r and e p then b minus a is equal to c minus b the difference between two consecutive numbers must be same so if b minus a is equal to c minus b then it comes to b is equal to a plus c okay then the nth term of arithmetic progression the formula is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d then tn is nth term a is first term d is common difference okay this is the formula for nth term this is not very tough but we just have to know the formulas okay let's go uh, for the sum sum of the n terms in arithmetic progression as n is equal to n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d n is the nth term 2 a a is the first term d is common difference this formula you can use when you have to find the summation up to something terms uh, let's say it's up to 100 terms it's up to 500 terms but if the first term and the last term that means if the first term is given that is 0 and the last term is given that is 500 if first term and last term is given and then you can uh, use this formula n by 2 is equal to a plus l where l is equal to nth term or the term which given okay so these two formulas for summation of arithmetic progression now arithmetic mean arithmetic mean geometric mean and harmonic mean those are all important for generally arithmetic mean uh, between two numbers a and b is a plus b by 2 it's uh, also derived from the this equation this equation 2b is equal to a plus c so b is equal to a plus c by 2 this is derived from this equation arithmetic mean is a plus b by 2 okay so these are the formulas from AB arithmetic progression. Okay, now let's see about harmonic progression. That's HP. This is very rare uh, asking in JWE, but still we are going to learn this. Okay, if uh, there are non three zero non zero numbers and ABC and HP, if one by A, one by B, and one by C are in AB, ABC are in HP. If one by A one by b and one by c are in a b that means the common difference is like this the sequence series is like this one by a one upon a plus d one upon a plus d are in h p if a plus d plus two d are in a b okay so nth term is one upon reciprocal of arithmetic progression that is one upon a plus n minus one into d it is almost like the reciprocal of arithmetic progression okay so there is the formula for harmonic mean it's b is equal to 2ac upon a plus c how it's going to be derived by using this formula this is the sequential formula uh, same as arithmetic progression 2b is equal to a plus c but here we have to take a reciprocal so it is like 2 by b is equal to 1 by a plus 1 by c and if you target here b then you will come out this formula 2ac is equal to a plus c okay so this is the harmonic mean between a and c if you have two numbers a and b then harmonic mean is 2ab by a plus b okay these are the harmonic series okay if a1 a2 up to, to a n are in hp we can say that the n is a harmonic means between a and b that means if you have any two numbers then harmonic mean can be find out by using this formula or this formula okay and this is the sequential formula for harmonic mean okay 
let's go through the next slide okay this is we come from geometric progression okay and geometric progression we all know that the geometric progression is the common series is a a r a r square a r cube here r is the common ratio a is the first term okay here in gp the sequence formula is b square is equal to a c how if you divide by this term by this term that means a by uh, each consecutive terms ratio must be equal so a by b by a by b is equal to b by c a by b if we are, we are have three numbers then a by b is equal to b by c then it's like this b square is equal to a c for nth term nth term is tn is equal to a r s to n minus 1 because first term is a so nth term is a into r s to n minus 1 where n is the term number of terms okay and r is the common ratio a is the first term usual notations then the, there, this is the very important formula for geometric progression sum sum sn is equal to a into r is to n minus 1 upon r minus 1 if r is less than 1 and if r is less than 1 then the common ratio is less than 1 then it's a into 1 minus r is to n upon 1 minus r a is the first term r is common ratio and n is the number of term okay you just have to remember this formulas there is no derivation of this formula so you just going to remember it and easily you can solve the problem okay then that it is also one of the important formula yeah sum of infinite geometric progression if the series is given an infinite number of terms and if it is in gp then the formula s infinite is equal to a upon 1 minus r but here if r is minus 1 r less than 1 this formula is must be if r is 1 minus minus 1 to 1 okay is the first term r is the common ratio okay then geometrical mean geometric mean also uh, it's a derived from the sequential equation by this b square is equal to ac so b is equal to under root of ac same geometrical progression is b is equal to under root of a p but uh, please take out this note very clearly if uh, a and b have opposite sign then gm cannot be defined if a and b have opposite sign then gm cannot be defined okay so this is important you have to remember this then uh, okay there are a very question asked in the examination that you have to find five or three terms in gp and you have given a summation or multiplication of the formula so if the if you have asked a, find a problem asked in gp related to consecutive terms then if ask about three terms then you have to use a by r into a comma a comma a r why because if they given us the multiplication of five number then here r and r gets cancelled out and a cube is equal to that number and we can find easily a and then we can find r and they can, we can find easily series okay similarly if they ask about five terms then it's a by r square a by r a a r a r square okay so here the same thing if multiplication is given then we can cancel out this r and uh, a raised to 5 is equal to that term similarly this type of question asked in arithmetic progression if three terms are asked then you can select like this a minus d a a plus d okay and if five terms are asked in arithmetic progression then it's a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d and they have given the summation then if you add the add those five sums up then all 2d terms and d terms gets cancelled out and you are left with 5a and you can get a you can get d and you can get the answer okay this is very important formula this is severally asked in the examination many examination many cat examination like good cat and maharashtra cat karnataka cat and other examination also in JW relationship between am gm and hm arithmetic mean harmonic mean and geometric mean geometric mean square is equal to am into hm very very important formula you must have to remember this there are no tricky question asked from this chapter just simple application of formula you just have to need know the formula so okay gm square is equal to am into hm very very important okay and last the common series that is if important formula of series 1 1 1 are added up to n times then answer is sigma 1 is equal to n if 1 2 3 plus up to n 
then it's called sigma n then the answer is n n plus 1 by 2 if the square is added like this 1 square 2 square 3 square two, two, n square and then it's sigma n square the formula is n n plus 1 2 n plus 1 by 6 and if the its cube is added 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube up to, up to n cube sigma n cube then the formula is n square n plus 1 square by 4 okay what's the formula n square n plus 1 square by 4 these are the all all the formulas are covered in this video you just have to write it down remember it and next day that means tomorrow i am going to post the video on the example on the problems which are asked in past jwe question papers based on sequence and series okay up to that you just remember all of this formula okay thank you for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to share it and hit the subscribe button